Hello my beautiful fragrance family, Dustin here, fragrance fan. Go ahead and do me a solid and click that like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell notification. I'm just going to keep on giving you guys these budget friendly fragrance reviews. That $40 and $100 range and most of these are a lot less than that. A good number of these you find at your local rack store is the one I'm talking about today. Sometimes pops up in the local rack store. I think it's an aromatic fougere launched in 1994. It's from the house of Giorgio. Beverly Hills Wings. Very odd shaped bottle. I uh, don't know what color the juice is. I don't quite think it's clear because the bottle is a certain color of like turquoise and the juice looks like it's blue when it's through that. So I don't know what tint the juice is, but I doubt it's perfectly clear. And uh, the atomizer lid is very light and it just slides loosely into place. So it, it looks good. Like you want to pick it up by the lid and I have and it'll fall and if you got any kind of collection it's going to knock them things over because this bottle's kind of heavy and like weird and stuff like that so atomizer itself squirts out a good amount of juice so as with most of these fragrances from the 90s early 2000s and stuff and before have a ton of notes most of them do so i'm just going to go over a lot of them or some of them uh, some of them stick out a lot more than others. Let you know what I think about this thing, if it's worthy of being picked up, if it's relevant today, occasions to wear it, or even if it's good to be worn at all. In the top, there's bergamot, there's lemon. In the mid, you get some coriander, some clary sage. In the base, there's cedar, musk, and oak moss. So what you get when you initially spray this thing is you're gonna get a good dose of some of that citrus. The bergamot and the lemon is right there really loud along with that clary sage, giving it a little bit of like a, a green spiciness. There's some green notes up top too, but uh, it, you get a little bit of that spiciness. Some of the, it might be some of the coriander in there. I, it's, it's Some of these notes, like I said, stick out more than others and those are the ones. The citrus, coriander, and clary sage are, are there pretty loud in the beginning. About 10 minutes later, the citruses start to die off and you get the florals. I don't really pick up the lily of the valley or the jasmine or the geranium one more than the other. I just get the florals. I get the woodiness, and the earthiness, that like cedar and the oak moss and stuff like that. It says that there's amber in here. I am I mean, maybe there's like a touch of some sweetness or something like that, but I mean, literally what this thing kind of smells like to get you in the ballpark is if you got like Davidoff cool water and like doused a bunch of dryer sheets or something with it or like spilled it on a box of like gain dryer sheets, something like this is about what you're going to get. It's very, very, very laundry, fresh, clean, spring, summer, daytime, casual type of a fragrance. Now, this is quite classy. This is like a good old school freshie. And what that means is like typically the youth is not going to like this. It's not a real offensive smell. It's very, very, very loud at the beginning. Very loud. Um, but it's, it's, I don't know if it's office friendly. Maybe it is. If you just keep it like dialed back, maybe it is because it's not offensive. It's just quite sharp and quite loud. Um, so the youth might not enjoy this one too much. So this isn't really like a safe blind buy because it's not a mass pleasing type of a fragrance. A lot of people will like it, a lot of people will not. The longevity on this, a lot of people say they get great performance on this thing. So maybe just take what I'm gonna say with a grain of salt because more often than not, people are saying they get really good performance on this. I do not, I get average. It's not terrible, it's not great, it's about five hours every time, which isn't bad for a freshie because freshies typically don't last very long, but as loud as this thing is at the beginning, I thought I was gonna get seven or eight hours. Maybe I'm going nose blind, I don't know. Like I said, you might wanna take that with a grain of salt, but personally, I don't really experience more than five hours with this, but I'm not complaining about that. So overall rating, what I'll give this is I'll give it a five. I've spent some time with it. You can see I, I took a dent out of this. If you asked me when I first got this, I probably would have said something like a six, but I just don't reach for it that often anymore. There's so many other fragrances that are around this price that are fresh and easy that I just reach for way more often than this one. And it's like hard for me to find excuses to wear this one except for like out of the shower or at my house. Um, but it's not bad. It's a good smelling fragrance. The performance is decent. It smells decent. It's just not one that like really wows me or anything like that. But it came out in like that dip, uh, that dabbit of cool water era, Aspen era, and it fits good in that category. So, yeah, if you don't uh, mind something that is extremely dryer sheet, laundry, synthetic smelling, 
you might want to check this out and uh, go ahead and <laughs> pull the trigger on it. But that's my final thoughts on Giorgio's Beverly Hills Wings. With that, I'm out. Y'all be blessed. Take care of yourself always. And until next time.